<laughs> Prior to you joining the cast of BMF, did you have any previous experiences in Detroit that you could share? You know, I think I had only been to Detroit once before BMF, and that was for a Comic-Con. Um, and so I never really saw much of Detroit except for the hotel and the inside of the convention center. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm going to say, no, I didn't have really any previous experience. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Um, was there anything, what do you think, uh, just you as an actor and just as a person learn anything new about the city? You know, what was just from going through this journey with this series, what notes and tidbits and different things did you uh, gather? Well, you know, one of my favorite things uh, about, about being an actor is doing mm -hmm. the research, right? Mm -hmm. And, and, and this Detroit is really like a whole character in the show. It's all mm -hmm. about the D. Right. Mm -hmm. And so um, in, in doing the research of this character in the 80s, because mm -hmm. that's when this takes place, mm -hmm. um, it was a really interesting time, especially for Asian people like the Asian mm -hmm. community. It was a small community in Detroit, but mm -hmm. we were just coming off of the heels of the Vincent Chen murders. There mm -hmm. was a lot of anti-Asian racism and hatred towards the, you know, Japanese automotive industry. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there was uh, so much going on in Detroit as far as the climate is concerned, you know, uh, being Asian in the mm -hmm. 80s. It was really, really interesting to, to research. Got you. And I'm glad you actually pointed that out. That was a great point because, um, you know, as a Detroiter, we always we picked through the nuggets and there were so many small things in this series that was unique and that resonate with us. And mm -hmm. one of those, I, I want to say this was in the either the second episode and it's just the car ride with you and Detective Bryant. And just it was you just said, you know, uh, you, you, I'm here from Southfield, but I remember growing up in Detroit but before they moved all of us from Chinatown. Yeah, yeah. Did any, by, by any chance, did Randy, anybody uh, give you the, the backstory? You know what I mean? Because that was, it was a very, it was a very short exchange, but it was a very heavy thing to put in, you know, to speak Yes, on. yes. I remember doing the research on that mm -hmm. and how they just kind of, you know, really just got rid of Ch Chinatown. They sort of, mm -hmm. they tried to, to move it to another area, but it never really stuck you know, right. um, and, and, you know, so much of the, how do you say the gentrification of yeah. Detroit happened, started during that period. Um, and, and goodness knows, you know, you look at Detroit now, it's, it's even more so. Um, but yeah, there was, there was a lot of that going on in Chinatown and, um, they really just moved people to the outskirts is what happened. They just pushed people out. Yeah. You're 100% right, and uh, because that's a, it's to the point that a lot of people don't even know there was actually a Chinatown in Detroit at one point. Yeah, yeah, it's so, so interesting. And that's what's so cool about this show mm -hmm. is that the writers are so good about the accuracy and the the history about Detroit itself. Because, you know, like you said, Randy Huggins is from Detroit, you know, mm -hmm. he's, he's, he eat, breathes, sleeps <laughs> Detroit. I mean, this guy is, you know, that's where his heart is. And so hey. it was so important for him to, 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 to have these, these kind of, you know, this accuracy, you know, and all of these points and even, and, and, and it seems as though all of this history is sort of wasted in one line, right? Yeah. Unless you know, <laughs> unless you are right. in the know, it doesn't even make any sense to you, but it's so deep. There's so much um, behind every line of, mm -hmm. of, of uh, that's spoken about Detroit, about the city. Indeed. Okay, well, that's actually all I have. <laughs> so I thank you for your time. And I look Thank forward you. to, um, you know, I've seen the series. Uh, I hope you're on next season as well. And I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. I am. And uh, I can't wait for you guys to to see the the finale of season two. You guys are going to, I, I can't swear on this, but, you know, <laughs> you it in your pants for sure. It's amazing. 
amazing. Awesome. Well, you have a great weekend. And again, have been enjoying your, enjoying your performance all season. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. You take care. Okay, bye.